हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एजुकेशन फॉर यू चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो यू विल गेट बेनिफिट्स ऑफ माय ऑल वीडियोस स्टैंडर्ड फिफ्थ सब्जेक्ट एनवायरमेंटल स्टडी पार्ट टू सो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर वन व्हाट इज हिस्ट्री सो लेट स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स ए द साइंस दैट ट्राइजेस to understand past event is called dash the answer is history question number b history is not written slowly on the basis of dash the answer is imagination question number 2 answer each question in one sentence a what is the scientific method the answer is the method of using a number of different tests to determine whether the evidence is reliable is called the scientific method b of which action is india's independence the result the answer is the india an independent nation on 15 august 1947 this is the result of the action of indian peoples struggles against british government question number c what does the study of history make possible the answer is the study of history make it possible for us to study what is and what is not favorable for the progress of human society question number 3 answer the following questions in a brief Question number A Why is history considered to be a scientific discipline The answer is first history uses a scientific method while looking for and collecting evidence two it uses scientific method by examining the evidence and putting it together three help is taken from other science when required Question number B What is it that puts obstacles in the way of village development answer is first individual or collective actions or human being have a consequences second some actions results in an environmental that is not a favorable for the progress of society question number 4 complete the concept chart students we have to complete this history chart so here the option is given of a village history of a village like that history of india history of maharashtra history of shivaji maharaj history of my own history of a school history of my family history of city question number 5 classify the sources of history using the chart given here sources of history is given so students we have to segregate it into material written and oral so in the material coins forts old structure pillar rocks cut caves are come in written section stone inscriptions copper plates biographies letters are come in the oral section traditional song folk song and folk tales are come next question is activity this is for homework question so students write down all the questions and answers into your notebook and please share this video as much as possible to your friend and subscribe my channel thank you